Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Emulating the Master. Yes, welcome back to episode 2 of Emulating the Master. In our first episode, we faced West Bromwich Albion in our first match in charge of Swansea City. It was a 2-2 draw at home. We threw away a two-goal lead in this game uh, to only draw 2-2. Unfortunately, things didn't get any better when we faced Crystal Palace away from home in our next match, which is the only match we've played since that game. We lost 3-2 away from home. We were at 2 all going into stoppage time and unfortunately it was a stoppage time winner from Wilfred Zaha that uh, meant that we lost our second game in charge. So in today's episode we're going to take on the Premier League holders Chelsea at home. Chelsea currently sit in fourth place in the Premier League whereas we occupy 19th. However, A win for us in the next two games will see us crawl out of the relegation zone because our second match in the episode is against Stoke. Now, as you can see from the league table, Stoke are in 17th place and they're only three points ahead of us. However, if we beat them, we'll be level on points with them and with better goal difference. So we will go above them. Okay, then, the team selection for today... Uh, Lucas Fabianski did pick up a knock in training, but he is fit to start today. So we're going with Fabianski in goal, with Rangel, Van der Horn, Alfie Mawson, and I'm reliably informed that it's Mbengi at the back. King uh, Kison Young, uh, Renato Sanchez, and Leroy Fur in a three-man midfield, with Lucas Lima playing behind Tammy Abraham and Wilfred Bonney. So just the one change from the last match you saw us play. So let's get on with the match. Oh yes, that's right. Tammy Abraham isn't eligible for this match because he's actually on loan from Chelsea. So we're going to have to take him out of the side. And we'll replace him with Jordan Ayew. Who can't play as a defensive forward but can play as a complete forward. So we're going to play him as a complete forward on support. And we'll have to take Abraham off the bench. We shall replace him with... We don't seem to have any other strikers. So we're going to have to hope that none of the strikers get injured today because we're not going to have one on the bench. Uh, I'm going to put Wayne Routledge on the bench. Like I say, hopefully uh, the strikers won't get injured and can see through a full 90 minutes against Chelsea. Okay, so this is our Chelsea lineup. It's uh, looks what looks like a... Uh, 3-4-3 3-4-3 formation um, with two wingers and one forward. So what are we going to say to the team today? Um, well, we know we're underdogs, so I think we may be going with this one. I know we are the underdogs here, but go on out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Uh, no reaction whatsoever from the players, so we're just going to get on with the match. Yeah, I'm not expecting much from this match. A, a draw would be the best result I could hope for here because Chelsea are a very strong side. And with a goalkeeper that isn't fully fit, I can't see us getting anything out of this game today. But who knows? Okay, first highlight of the game. Throw in from Rangel. Uh, but we've lost possession and it looks like Chelsea are going to break on us here. Kante with the ball. Oh, lucky there that his shot was off target. As things stand in the, in the stats today, it looks like we're uh, around about level with uh, Chelsea. We've got the just a slight majority of possession. We've had two shots each, neither of us with a shot on target. So hopefully this counter-attacking mentality might help. Oh, and we've now given away a penalty. 
This is all we need. Now can Fabianski save it? He doesn't. He dives the right way. But can't quite get get hold of it. And we are 1-0 down. At home to Chelsea. And that drops us down to bottom of the Premier League. Which isn't a good place to be. Here we go. Maybe. Nope. It looks like Chelsea are going to break on us again. This is going to be a, a, a more like a cricket score than a football score. Luckily that one was off target. We still have a majority of possession. 60% of possession and we're not doing anything with it. We've only just had a shot on target. Unfortunately, we've had exactly the same number of shots on target as Chelsea. The difference is they scored theirs. And I think we're going in at half-time, 1-0 down. I don't know what changes I can make. Because as things stand, we're not playing that badly. It was just a, a, a silly mistake to give away the penalty. Um, I'm not going to make any half-time substitutions. I'm just going to say you, you've been unlucky so far. And they've all reacted great to that. So we'll get on with the second half. I mean, it's very difficult coming in at, at, on the 6th of November because obviously there's no transfer window open at that point. So you've kind of got to just go with the squad you have until you get to January. Um, and then hope that you can bring in some players of your own to fit the formation that you that you want to play. Which I think I'm going to have to go shopping for maybe some midfielders. Uh, possibly a goalkeeper and a striker in January. Because we don't have much in the way of strikers. What can we get here? Ayu squares the ball to Lucas Lima and it's one all. We've pulled one back early in the second half against Chelsea. Good ball into Lima from Ranghill. Sorry, from Ayu. It was Ranghill's initial cross. Ayu with the second ball and Lima slots it in from close range. Two goals in three games from Lucas Lima. It's a good return for an attacking midfielder. You know, I wouldn't put it past us to go on and actually get another goal. I mean, we, as things stand, the stats say that we should be winning. We've had seven shots to Chelsea's five. Here we go. Could this be a second? Are you into Bonnie? And a save from Courtois. Lima with the corner. And it's headed out. Can we get the ball back in? Oh, and that was a terrible tackle. That's That's got to be at least a booking. I think it might even be a red card here. Yes, it's straight red. Chelsea down to 10 men. We've got to make this pay. I'm going to make some substitutions. What can we do? Well, Bonnie's only on a 7.4, but I haven't got any strikers on the bench, so I'm going to have to let him play on and hope that he improves. I'm going to take... I'm going to take Sanchez off because he's booked. And once again, it, this screen is annoying me. Yeah, I'm going to take Sanchez off for Roque Mesa. It's a like-for-like -like swap. He can play in that position. But other than that, I'm not going to make any changes. I'm going to keep it on counter and hope that maybe we can nick an extra goal seeing as they're down to 10 men make full use of that extra man I think now is the time that I go on to a more attacking mentality so I'm just going to go control I'm not going to go full attacking just yet I'm not mad uh, let's see how much of a difference that makes because 
I keep saying it, but the stats say we are in control of this game, and uh, we should be winning it, really. Especially with those... They're down to 10 men. But... Chelsea's 10 men is probably stronger than uh, Swansea with 11. Let's see what other changes we can make. I'm going to take Ki Sung Young off and I'm going to bring Tom Carroll on. Just to get some fresh legs. Maybe a, a bit of extra pace. Might be the difference here. Oh, this doesn't look good. A free kick to Chelsea in a dangerous position. And 10 men of Chelsea are ahead with three minutes to go, plus stoppage time. Now, am I now regretting going on to a controlling mentality? See, I'm now going to have to go attacking. We've got nothing to lose. I'm going to take Mawson off because he's on 48% condition. I'm going to put Federico Fernandez on. And Carroll's on the ball. Out to Bonnie. Roque Mesa into Lucas Lima. Rangel, Rangel scored, he's equalised. And we've still got three minutes of stoppage time to play. Can we go on and get, get a winner here? It was a great ball out to Rangel from Lima. And Chelsea's goalkeeper has got to be disappointed there. Yes, we are going to proceed with the tactical changes after the goal. I think this is going to be the last stitch attempt. Could we get the winning goal? Can we just lump it up there? Rang hell again. Can he cross it in? No. I think that's going to be it now. Don't let them break on us. That's it. Final whistle's gone. It's 2-2. Two, two. Exactly the same as the uh, result uh, from the first match of the se of the series. But still, that's a, that's a good point against a strong team like Chelsea, despite the fact that they were down to 10 men. I'm going to say that the, uh, the, the team have done well there considering we were expected to lose that game. Right, OK, we've just had the uh, FA Cup third round draw, and we've been drawn against Crystal Palace, and that will be played on the 6th of January, so just over a month's time in game. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to change our fortunes, because obviously we lost to them uh, just before we drew against Chelsea. So, like I say, hopefully we can uh, get the win this time around, stay in the FA Cup and potentially smash that first target at the first time of asking. OK, on to the team selection for today's match against Stoke away from home. It's relatively unchanged side. I want to try and keep some stability uh, about the team. We've gone for Fabianski in goal. Ranghel, Van der Horn, Mawson and Mbengi at the back with Ki Sung Young, Sanchez and Fur in midfield. Uh, Lucas Lima playing in just behind Tammy Abraham and Wilfred Boney. I will change Abraham back to a defensive forward on defend. And then on the bench we've got Mulder, Fernandez, Messer, Routledge, Bartley, Carroll and Narsing. Still sticking with the uh, four three one two 2 uh, on counter-attacking with the same team instructions. It seems to be working quite well. I mean, we haven't won yet, but uh, 
we've only lost one game and we drew against Chelsea. So it's always a good sign that we're we're picking up the draws against the uh, team, the big teams. Okay, so on to the match against Stoke. Looking like they're uh, lining up with a uh, three-four-three, similar to the formation that uh, Chelsea used. So hopefully we can have a similar sort of uh, effect against them today. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with, we're huge underdogs, so there's no pressure to succeed. Go out there and show everyone what you've got. Uh, only re only Sanchez has uh, reacted well to that, so hopefully we'll have a decent game. Okay, and so the game's kicked off. Like I say, hopefully we can get uh, three points because we are three, only three points behind Stoke and a win may take us out of the relegation zone on goal difference. Like I said before, I'm not overly bothered about league position. Um, I just want to stay in the Premier League, so being outside that relegation zone would be a big, big plus. Oh, that was a good save from Fabianski. We haven't yet had a shot, which is concerning. But I suppose that's what you get for a counter-attacking mentality. Hopefully this could be one for us. Sanchez into Lima. Knocking the ball around nicely. Up to Boney, he goes out wide. Crosses it in to Abraham, and it's just over the bar. Abraham really needs to start scoring goals, because if he doesn't, I am going to drop him. I am going to be looking for another striker in the transfer window in January. I have had a notification from the board that they're upping my transfer budget to £26 million from £5 million, so hopefully I'll have a little bit of money to find a decent-ish striker. I know that's not a lot of money by Premier League standards, but we've got to remember this is Swansea. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to find find a decent striker uh, to try and change our fortunes. We do seem to be lacking on the striker front. Uh, with Abraham, Ayu and Boney, the only three first-team quality strikers. Uh, we've given away a penalty. Every single match so far, we've had a penalty. Either against or for, and that's that's 1-0 down. This isn't good, because that will put us six points. No, sorry, my maths is wrong. That will put us... Let me change this. It put us five points behind Huddersfield um, inside the relegation zone, which isn't good. Right, so we've gone in at half time, 1 0 down. We've been disappointing, really. I haven't seen us have a shot. I'm going to be assertive and I'm going to say I expect much better. Van der Horn stressed. Yeah, well, I'm stressed. A free kick from Lima. Plays it in to Fur. And it's gone over. Oh, no, it was a save. So we've got a corner. Lima to whip another one in. Keyson going to hit it. Uh, it's over the bar. We need to be making the most of those opportunities. Set pieces is one of our main main areas of attack. Van der Horn's having a terrible game, only a 6.1 rating. So I think unless he improves dramatically, he'll be coming off soon. Abraham having a quiet game again. He he, need, he really needs to start scoring. Ah, oh, he must have heard me because Abraham's just equalized. Thunderous effort from inside the box. The 
this is what I mean, set pieces like throw-ins, corners, free kicks are going to be where we score most of our goals. Here we go, another set piece now. What can we make of this? Lima plays it out to Mbengi into Fur. Can Fur cross it in? He can. It hits their defender. Abraham straight at Butland. And he drops it anywhere but straight out the keeper. He'd have scored there. All right, it's time for our first substitution. I think we all know who it's going to be. Van der Horn. Only on a 6.2. So I think he's going to be making way for... Fernandez, I'll bring Fernandez on. I haven't seen much of him. I subbed him on in the last game. We never really had much time to do anything. That's it for now. We're going to stay. Um, in fact, I'm going to change on to control so we can try and push forward and uh, get a goal, a winning goal. See, we're having a, a lot of shots. We've had 12 shots and 5 on target. So we've had more shots, we've got more of the possession than Stoke. So really we should be making these chances pay. And is that Mbengi about to get sent off? I think it is. This isn't good. Down to 10 men. I think we need to make some tactical changes to compensate for that. I don't think we've got a left back on the bench. We haven't. I don't think we've got anybody that can play left back. I'm stuck to what to do here. Um, we could go for a back three and drop Ki Sung Young back in front of the back three. Take Rang Hell off, but he's had a good game. Saying that, he's tired. And so is Ki Sung Young. Um, yeah, I think what we're going to do is this. We'll drop him back. So we have like, a diamond in midfield. And then bring Ranghell into the middle, but take Ranghell off, because he's booked anyway. And bring on Bartley. And then I'm going to take it off control, back onto counter. Hopefully, it won't be too disastrous for us, and we can at least get away with a draw. What we don't want is highlights now. We want to see this game out for the draw. At least that keeps us only three points behind Stoke. Uh, that's just 2-1 down. It's not good. There's just too many of them and they're finding too much space out wide. I think we're going to have to have a tactical change for the next game. For some reason this isn't working. But I know why it's not working. It's because they've they been playing a different way all season. And they're not used to playing this way. Maybe I need to go for a more f familiar tactic until the end of the season. To just keep them up and then uh, see if uh, we can build a new tactic next season. It's fair with the shot. Oh, should have scored there really. Four minutes of added time and they've got a corner. Could this be the third? Oh, no, Fair wins it back. Now just lump it up there. Well, just lump it up there to Bonnie. We need to get the ball back. There's going to be a third for them. Good defending there. 
but they're finding too much space out wide. We was lucky that that, that hit the post. Two minutes left. Can we grab an equaliser? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on overload for the last two minutes. I mean, we're already losing. It doesn't really matter so much if we lose three or four one. I'd rather lose three or four one than and try and score than not. Just a minute left. This could be our undoing. I reckon it's going to be 3-1 here. Oh no. Good clearance. But as things stand, it looks like we're going to lose. Unless we can make something out of this chance. Break away. Um, Bonning loses out. That's it. It's all over. So another defeat here today. We managed to get the draw against Chelsea, so that's a plus. Um, I'm not happy with the performance. That's fired them up. Because we had more shots than Stoke in that game. We should. We just didn't make the most of our chances. Right, let's see where we're going to come back. Let's have a look at the schedule. All right, I think I'm going to play, although I might leave the Man City game and go right through to the FA Cup. Because we've only got five, six games, seven games, eight games before the FA Cup game against Crystal Palace. And obviously with that being our main target this season, that would probably be a better one to... Uh, to record we've also got the Liverpool game after that so yeah that'll be good well I'll play I'll play these eight games behind the scenes and we'll be back ready for the FA Cup well that's it for this episode thank you very much for watching give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more Football Manager 18 videos